the conversation between Fox News host Brett Baer and Vice President Kamala Harris brims with tension. Baer presses her hard on the growing concerns surrounding President Joe Biden's cognitive state, demanding a straight answer about whether Harris has personally observed any signs of mental decline. Rather than engaging directly with these pointed questions, Harris dodges them, redirecting the conversation toward broader political stakes, framing the election as a stark choice between Donald Trump's chaotic leadership and the Democratic vision for America. Let me ask you this, no, Madam no, Vice President. You call Donald Trump. You, you, you call Donald Trump. Um, He's misguided. You say now he's, he's unstable. unstable. He is unstable. But uh, he's not well. well. You say he's it, mentally not stable. Uh, he's not Let stable. Let me ask you this. And, you and told many interviewers that Joe Biden was on his game, that ran around circles on his staff. When did you first notice that President Biden's mental faculties appeared diminished? Joe Biden, I have watched in from the Oval Office to the Situation Room, and he has the judgment and the experiment and experienced to do exactly what he has done in making very important decisions on behalf of the American people. Joe no Biden, concerns Brett, raised. Brett, Joe Biden is not on the ballot. I understand. And Donald Trump, Donald Trump but is. But you talked about it. And Donald Trump After is. After George Clooney said within a few minutes of talking to Donald President Biden Trump, at a fundraiser that he thought this Brett, was not the Brett, same Joe Biden that we saw on the Donald debate stage. Donald Trump is on the ballot. I understand. You met with him at least once a week for three and a half years. You didn't have any concerns? I think the American people have a concern about Donald Trump, which is why the people who know him best, including leaders of our national security community, have all spoken out, even people who worked for him in the Oval Office, worked with him in the Situation Room, and have said he is unfit and dangerous and should never be president of the United States again, including his former vice president, which is why the job was open for him to choose another running mate. So that is a fact. That is a fact. Bayer doesn't ease up. He brings up Harris's own past comments about Trump's mental fitness, comments Trump himself labeled as unstable, drawing parallels between her criticisms of Trump and the current scrutiny on Biden. The host is laser-focused on whether Harris will admit to any concern about Biden's capacity to serve. Yet, Harris consistently sidestepped, reaffirming her trust in Biden's judgment, experience, and leadership, instead of acknowledging the repeated media speculation about his cognitive abilities. She emphasizes the depth of Biden's experience, particularly from their work together in high-stakes situations like the Situation Room, insisting that his decision-making remains sound. But Bayer persists, noting how Biden appears to have diminished in recent public appearances, even referencing actor George Clooney's remarks. He pushes Harris further, asking whether she has ever had concerns during their regular meetings. Still, Harris deflects, steering the conversation back to Trump, who she argues is the real danger to America. She points to Trump's instability, citing former national security officials and even Trump's own vice president as examples of those who questioned his fitness for office. For Harris, Trump's threat looms larger than any questions about Biden's mental health. However, her reluctance to address Biden's cognitive state head-on could be seen as avoidance. The issue of Biden's age and potential mental decline has sparked significant public debate, especially among critics, who believe his leadership could be compromised. Harris's unwillingness to engage with these concerns directly may leave some wondering if she's brushing off a legitimate issue that could impact Biden's ability to effectively lead the nation and navigate critical decisions on both the domestic and global stage.